Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading two episodes three and four of Zoku Awari Managasuri. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three. In three, two, one, go. Have you know? She could probably still kick your ass, though. I mean, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my baby. Alright, guys. Okay, the best girl. <laughs> Yeah, true. They would be the same age no matter what. That too. Feelings. Yes. <laughs> Last but not least.
Which is just more honest in a way, and just like in your face. And then she's just gonna be like, fuck it, I'm just gonna tell you how I feel. No, but the thing is, you've literally seen everyone but your girlfriend. Why is that? Like, where the heck is your girlfriend in this world? She should be here. Because that's the biggest thing. Because it's like, okay. Seeing everyone else that we've seen throughout the Sam series, and she's the only one who hasn't even shown up yet, and we have, like, less than three episodes, not kind of this one, left until we find out how in the world he's going to get back home. And it's like, hmm, where your girlfriend at? <laughs> That's just me. I mean, we know that he's still trying to find a way to get a message to Sheena Boo, but I feel like Send Johanna, she's in there somewhere. I don't know where. I know there is not her. So, I mean... Mm. But then what would hurt her? It would have to be like a way. She's gonna look like an actual damn crap. I don't know. <laughs> no fucking clue. Because she's a weird crap. So... I don't know. Because I'm still thinking of a way to crap, but I'm like... I don't know about that. <laughs> I swear to God, if, like, freaking Magico Okore and this show could just, like, another crossover collab, please <laughs> just make an older Mayoi and Ononoki, like, uh, put them in the damn gotcha. <laughs> exactly. If there's another side of them, you should also be here, too. Everybody should be here. I'm just saying. Yeah, that could have been your other one. So maybe when you got pulled in, you two switched. And so Yagara is supposed to be in the married world. is actually in your world. <laughs> mm. So I don't know. Okay. Mm. Of course she would be here. Because of plot. <laughs> I mean, did I just say Anunnaki? I didn't mean Anunnaki. I'm not sure. Don't be sorry. It's okay.
Yeah, you know, like something could happen to you the longer you stay here. Maybe you'll cease to exist in the real world. Why do I feel like what's his face is in her room? In his room. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. This is actually her room. So where's his room? Sure. I mean, but hold up. That big behind house and you having these two sharing a room. <laughs> I mean, I get too and caught in because they're sisters. You know, sisters want to be close, but... <laughs> Keep that in mind because that's going to come back. Normal now? Oh, <laughs> oh my Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Well, yeah, because you are off and so is everybody else. You know, the way they have this angle, it looks like your name. And when did your name come out? Like 2016, 2017? And this came out like a year later? As of right now, she knows she's like the only one who knows that. Oh, okay. This ain't the real world, it's the mirror world.
So that's why you were acting that way. Mm, true. Because it seems like to me that anything that happened in the real world could also happen in this mural world. Oh, she looks so pretty! Oh my god! <laughs> Give me that screen! <laughs> supposed to be Undertale now. This feels very Undertale. Of course. <laughs> okay, I mean, is she gonna come now? I mean, seriously, we got like eight minutes left, and is she, I feel like she's gonna come in the last four minutes. Of course. But send it to the Maybe send it to Or maybe get shot. Or maybe your freaking girlfriend. I don't know, because I should. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Oh, 
Julia. I mean, when I think about this, what is she going to look like? Is she going to look like, you know, her regular kid shot? Or is she going to look like actual, you know, baby? There's so many unanswered questions. I mean, this girl could look in between. I don't know. Let's go. One time I kind of wish you had a weapon besides on the okay. What the hell? <laughs> what is this Disney castle? I can't. You're telling me she's in there? Seriously? Mm, no, but you gotta go in the old fashioned way. Holy shit, this place is big. Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. See, this is why we need weapons. It's too fucking bright, though. No, well, in a way, I kind of was expecting her to be human, but I was like, no, at the same time, I was like, okay, yeah, just because, you know, you can't see your face because you're a vampire in the mirror, would you probably still maybe be a vampire or not really? How are they going to explain that shit? 
Girl, what the hell you did? <laughs> what happened? I have so many questions, but okay. Now that we're finally meeting Shinobu in this world, I mean, like I said, Sergio Han is the last one. What the hell is she? <laughs> we only have not counted four. After this, we only had two episodes left. How in the world is this show going to wrap up this quote-unquote, not really final arc, but because there's still more stuff that could be animated, as I said last week. But, <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me. Like, how the fuck am <laughs> If you would have told me at the beginning of this, that this girl was human by the end of this episode. I probably would have looked at you were like, you were fucking nuts. I was thinking this girl was going to still be a vampire no matter what. But still at the same time, like, a teeny tiny bit. But, like, are you... Out of all the things, she's a fucking human. But, like, I was expecting maybe, like, a succubus or um, a freaking snow woman or something. I'm thinking of interview with Mantra Girls right now. Like, anything besides a human. But because of the fact is that she is, I mean... Can she really help them, though? That's the biggest question as of right now. Like, what can Shinobu do as a human? What What is your skills? What the heck can you bring to the table to help him get back home? As of right now, until we get to episode four, I feel like she can't do anything. She's just going to be here as, like, um, like, sort of a guidance for him. To give him anything, like, to say the right words that he needs to hear right now. So... Until we get something else where she's like, yeah, I can still kick some butt. Because I'm si I'm sitting here the whole entire time thinking, okay, this bitch still gonna be a vampire. This badass bitch gonna still be a vampire. I was like, this boy ain't got no fucking weapons or nothing. He got uh, Onanogi. But Onanogi, <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, she ain't the Onanogi that we know. So I was like, damn, he is probably going to be a big bloodied mess. I was like, imagine it just being a room full of nothing but white. And the next thing you know, it's nothing but red because it's blood everywhere. And honestly, that would have been really good. I mean, it, it would have kind of given me like feels towards the movies. But, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but honestly, I just really think she's going to be, as of right now, until, like I said, we, until we get to episode four. Just like a guidance or just something that things that she needs to speak to him about. Questions that he has, like wanting to get out of here. Ish, maybe because there, there could be many things she could know as much as Archie knew from the real world. I'm not 100% sure because of the fact that she's not a vampire, she's a human. So it's like, how much knowledge do you know versus, you know, our, our actual Shinobu? How much does Kishot know versus, you know, my precious baby girl who I want to fucking protect and I will kill someone for her? That's the same thing with Fika Ononoki. <laughs> because those are so fucking passes and I love them so fucking much and I would literally kill somebody for them. Um, but, yeah! We <laughs> got a lot of questions about this next episode, but go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. And then I also felt like the ish that was her face was telling the Agaragi while they were going to go to bed. That's going to be important, especially with, I feel like, episode four and maybe even five and six. Like, I don't think, mm, God, no, let me reword this. I feel like what she said is going to be an importance of how in the world he possibly gets home. I'm not 100% sure because, like I said, as of right now, we got two episodes left. And I'm not going to be able to watch that until today is Tuesday. Um, maybe... Probably next Tuesday. I usually watch my Patreon shows on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Mm, but I just, oh, I have so many unanswered questions and like how this episode is going to answer my questions for episode three and then how the heck is this show going to end really? And because uh, I know it's going to end on like a not so big cliffhanger. Big ass Disney castle, Jesus Christ. How many rooms do you have in that thing?
first. Yeah, and then why does she keep calling her that way? Really, are we doing Cinderella now? Why though? Is there something wrong with that? She is basically a word of reason. But it sucks to the fact is that we can't see her. There's got to be a reason why. I mean, maybe the books have something because I would like to read the books right, right now. I got no money. <laughs> I do, but <laughs> I got to save my money. You can't help. Because I feel like the longer you stay here, the more fucked up it's going to be. I mean, they doing her like they doing fucking Goblin Slayer. We couldn't see his face. Uh -huh.
сравнение. So then if you do have been affected, then everybody else should be affected as well. What if you were an asshole in this world? Why? Because of plot reasons or something? Or just because of time or mirror shit? Yeah, we gotta go. No, no. <laughs> yeah, because you are you are really close to killing yourself and we don't want that. So that's why she couldn't show. I mean, but that's still fucked up. I mean, it's just like, <clears throat> you get so entranced by her beauty, it's like, fuck it. Dead. Mm-hmm. I bet she's really beautiful. That's why she's like alone. She can't be around anyone. Damn, that sucks. Is the triangle thing behind them supposed to be that thing in Paris? The um the museum. So then it makes me wonder, especially about her family. So when her family looked at her, they just died too. So she's been alone all this time. No one? Oh my god, baby. Well, you could possibly get Hanekawa.
Well, at least it's her waking you up and not your sisters because, oh my god. She had to do anything, especially when she was talking about mirrors and stuff. Oh, Cotton, I'm so sorry that you were short, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, you're gonna drown him. No, they say you don't actually use bar soap because it really dries your face out. <laughs> Jesus, girl. <laughs> oh. Holy sh-
Mm-hmm. Maybe. You never know unless you drop it. But, I mean, let's just use that as, like, the last resource just in case nothing else works. Bruh, she is. Mm-hmm. God, just imagine if she <laughs> went down a dark alley and you saw her. Oh, no. What else can you do? You gotta get past freaking combat. <laughs> I mean, shit, why don't I just go ahead and hop over that and <laughs> just go in the back entrance? <laughs> Seriously? How? Yeah. Oh, oh, God, she's coming. Well, maybe you need to submerge your whole face. In. Yeah, so you need to bathe. Because she's not there in the other world, so it makes super duper sense for her to be. <laughs> but I wasn't expecting her to come in this episode. Maybe in like five or six, but like, oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oi! <laughs> Oi! Oh, the phone just, just hold everything. Oh my god, like, I mean, if, if we want to talk about Element of Surprise, like, <laughs> Not. And then remember when got like stabbed by the dude who was like, making revenge on him? Like, oh yeah, like those are possibly maybe the most two like things that have shocked the crap out of me. Plus a couple other things like with the um, Oshino being Aganagi, and then it's like that and Ish, and then having Oshino make an appearance like before the show is over. But uh, okay, oh. Because I'm thinking, like, no, like, her mom, mm -mm, I never in my wildest dreams would have thought that she would have shown up. I, I was, like, at the same time, I kind of, there were maybe parts when I was watching this show, like, maybe early on, especially when, like, comedy was talking about her a couple of times. I was, like, are we ever really going to have, like, a moment where we can see her mom and her together, or just her mom, and it's like this, but I, I was really maybe more expecting it, you know how, like, there were some episodes where she, there was, like, a dream sequence, and her mom was talking to Kamadu, I thought it was gonna be like that, like, Agaragi was just going to lay in the bath until, you know, he got dizzy and, like, burned up and shit like that, he would have got knocked out, and then he would have had a dream sequence of him and Kamadu's mom talking, and then he would have woke up from that. But because she is here, like, <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I mean, I wasn't expecting her. I was honestly really expecting uh, her sister, who is um, watching over Ononoki to show up, honestly. Not actually her freaking company's mom i mean oh but then at the same time because I, I think it was necessary because she's like literally she she's made an appearance in this show but it's really more of like her back and not even her back it's more of just like a voice that's it and so you really always wanted to know like how her how she looked and so uh, every single time when i would see her older sister or really her younger sister i think it is um I was thinking she literally looked exactly like her. And in a way, she kind of does, except she doesn't have the... They do have, like, a asymmetrical bob-cut style hair. It's a little bit more of um, Ononoki's... What's-her-face? Uh, her, uh, her who's looking over her. While her sister has it, it's kind of more like a bob, but it's more like a straight down -ish and it's more gray and stuff. But, oof! <laughs> I don't know what to think now. I mean, oh, it could go any other way. I mean, I have so many questions now, and especially, like, what they're going to talk about and what she's going to do. I do love the fact that Shinobu was able to finally be in this episode and to talk to him, but still at the same time with her situation, I mean, being a princess, and then anyone's around her, it's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, like, kill myself because you are so beautiful your beauty is just like to die for literally and so it's just she's been alone such for the longest time and no one can be around her and i mean oh that sucks <laughs> that really sucks i mean i feel so bad for her because in the real world she has agaragi she has a partner and a, a companion with her to be with her until the end of days or the end of the world and such or whatever happens to the world I don't really know if that's still gonna happen though. It just depends on what happens in the books, because I would like to read them books though. But I mean, hmm. Damn, she got a rough here. Still, where the heck is Sejohara? I mean, honestly, we about to go into the last two episodes of this show, and girl ain't even showing up. And see, mind you, I feel like what they're gonna do in episode six, she's finally gonna show up, but it's going to be our central how to not like a mirrored version of her and she's just gonna spend time with Akaraki and then that's how they're gonna end the show and then it's gonna be so many years later and we're never possibly going to get the rest of the series animated maybe I don't really know but I mean oof <laughs> that's all I have to say is oof because I was not expecting this I'm thinking like what the hell is gonna go down he's just gonna submerge himself in the water look down he's gonna see himself maybe he's gonna grab himself out of the water I don't know and then 
that's how they do the switch and then everything goes back to normal but i mean that seems a little too easy i mean this is monogatari for christ's sake and not really everything in this world you know is simple and easy you gotta work for that ish they're you know honestly they're not gonna hand it to you on a silver platter <laughs> You have to ask questions and questions and questions to get your answers and what is the right thing to do. And the fact is, like, Shinobu is like, you're on the right path. So that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm proud about that. But it's just like, what else does he need to do in order to get home besides now talking to, you know, guy? So we ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode three and four of Zoku Owari Managatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Maxwell Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially out next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else. We're literally, I, I want to say the series finale, even though it's just the finale of this show, but really overall, because as I said last week, and I'm going to say it again, we don't know if the rest of these book series are going to get animated. I mean, it's something because the fact is, I would want it. Because as someone, let's go back to a year ago when I started the show. I was thinking, when, when I got this request on Patreon, I was thinking like, okay, maybe they just want me to just go until I got bored with it. Well, I never got bored with it. And I always wanted to know what the hell was going to happen next. And now that next week is the last two episodes of this show overall until we get something animated it just feels really fucked up because it's like how is this gonna end and then what could it possibly you know begin or start for like later on in the series if they wanted to continue the show i mean it is a long fucking series i'm not gonna say it's like as long as like um most like Shonen Jump series, but it is long and it's just like, it, it's just a good ass series and you just want to know what the fuck is going to happen next. So, I mean, it, it's just going to be really bittersweet next week. I don't really want next week to come because even watching these two episodes this week, I'm like, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, damn, we're officially going to be done with this show next week. And this could have taken me like, if I had watched it by one episodes each, I think this would have took me at least like two years to finish. And the fact is that I finished it in a year. I don't even remember what day I started the show. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm just sad. I don't want it to end because there's more to the story and I want to know more. And, like I said, maybe one day I'll read the book because I really want to read it just to see what could possibly happen next. I mean, it's the same thing with, like, freaking Magic of Recorded and how I felt about that. Because if you've played the game... For Magic of Recorder, you already know what's gonna happen. But if you're someone who is an anime only, that like people I've met because I'm playing the game, um, them anime only people don't know what the fuck is gonna happen next. <laughs> but yeah, until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.